Hey guys, Xiaomin. Today I want to talk to you guys about my rune event because people keep wondering how is the rune doing? And I picked all my runes. I know I could have done better, but I've been kind of demotivated to farm recently. My point has been stagnant for a long time now. I'm hovering at 100k and I'm just not very motivated to farm. So it's like, might as well just take the runes, you know? But if you really want to be efficient, you should take the rune at the very end of the event, which is in 13 days. You have plenty of time to farm. But also, you need to get the artifact. As you can see, 17 speed. And I'm like, I'm just so tired of this shit. <laughs> if you're new and you need a good rune, you should really, really stick it to the end to get rid of the resistance or the flat stat. But I was just like... Uh, I don't know. I still have the grinds that I still haven't finished. I don't really want to take the revenge. I have a lot of revenge speed. I really want to get like will, speed, or despair. Wait, swift or despair. And on the other side, I really want to get like a vile attack or HP. And I still haven't finished the artifact. Even though the right artifact is like good. But then it's defense. Dude, I was so happy when I saw triple additional. And then defense artifact. There are not many good defense type unit in this game, unfortunately. And there are many support HP attack that could use that HP main stat and triple additional right there. I would do so many things <laughs> to change the type to like attack or support or HP. The left one has taken so long, and I've never seen triple additional, or at least, let's say, I'm going for a water artifact for my Molong or Mouse or the wind artifact for Dominic. I want at least two additional and one of the damage on X element that I really need. For example, for Molong, I want to have damage bonus on wind element. So I can kill Diana, I can kill Dominic, I can kill Riley faster. But there's just not a good single artifact roll for the left one yet. So it's been a little bit depressing to finish the last race of the event. And I've just been kind of demotivated to farm recently. But hey, the runes though, they're not bad. It's kind of weird that I'm being happy after I've been complaining, but the runes are not bad. And I'm sorry to say, I'm just kind of flexing on you guys at this point. I don't have real life friends who play this game. I think if I stay in America, or Europe, I would probably go to like meetups and like, hey, real people that play summoners. Well, I don't know. The rune that I got is actually quite insane. This is the rune. <laughs> I have played this game for eight years. I have more than two LD Nat 5. I have four LD Nat 5. This is the first Vio rune on my account that is above 30 speed. It is actually super rare to get quad speed on a Vio rune, on a stat that you want, and even with HP defense and accuracy. So what I'm doing is, I am trying to get 13% HP enchant, and then a 10% grind to make it better because I don't want to take the accuracy out. It is very good for general usage. I could have changed the accuracy to crit rate if I want to put it on a Masha, but Masha also need accuracy. And any other support unit I want to use this rune on, like let's say I want to put it on a Oliver or a Changpeng or a Dominic or a Ganymede or somebody else that doesn't need the crit rate, the accuracy is very, very valuable. Especially for a slot 6 because you are not using a slot 6 accuracy. The 8 accuracy here is, is actually quite good. So I'm trying to get the HP to be higher and this rune will be finished. And it's actually really rare to get this rune. The other rune is Will. So I don't have a good attack slot 4 for Will runes. The next best thing is this. This is actually a legendary rune that I just gave up reapping because I spent like I think 30 reap and it was nowhere near usable. Actually, I have 3 reap right now. Maybe we do it right now. I gave up this rune because it just refused to give me anything. <laughs> Even though I want this rune so bad, it has crit rate in it. But it just refused to become anything better than this. So it has been a bomber rune for the longest time because I have attack flat on it. So it has just been terrifying. I mean, sad. 
So we have this one right now that I can use on my Chengpeng, Dominic, pretty much any support that can also do a bit of damage and control can really use this rune because I've been using HP slot 4, which is great, but sometimes I need the support unit to do some sort of damage. And even though you can have additional damage by HP, but if you have attack stat and additional damage by attack, it's going to do more damage. And sometimes when you're running control comm, you don't exactly need HP anyway. Like if your Chengpeng and your Oliver and your Karno and your Poseidon are controlling the team all the time, they're not moving, HP is kind of meaningless. So getting a bit more attack to kill the enemy faster is very important. So these are my two runes. You are probably very pissed right now. Like, what the fuck, Shambi? How are you demotivated or not motivated to play after getting these two beautiful runes? I mean, it's just how it is, man. <laughs> I can rune them however well I want. And I can go into RTA and RTA will just tell me the real truth of Summoner's Sword pretty much immediately. Yeah? I should Is it not only the physical that does, but also the to live watches? So these are the two runes, and I really, really like them. In RTA, the attack rune is on my Masha. So the rune allow me to build more stat in other runes, like crit rate, which is very important. But the thing with having very high speed build is that I don't really have other stat. <laughs> runes are so bad, dude. I have this rune and then my speed is still so shit. But if I don't have crit rate, if I don't have HP and defense, I die so fast. If I don't have accuracy, I can't land the defense brick. It's just really hard to build this unit well. I was using the wheel rune on Dominic earlier, but then my wheel rune's build cannot be very fast. So I was very lucky to get this rune recently. I think it's legend. It is actually legend. So with my nemesis build, he can be faster. And a fast Dominic is very, very scary. So I'm testing between Will or Nemesis to see which one is actually better. So the Will rune can actually go over here to make my Oliver better. Even though Oliver may not be very tanky, he's doing a lot of damage to finish the enemy quickly. And I think that is way better. Or right, I need to change my build a little bit. But it is definitely way better than not killing anything. So having an attack slot for... Nowadays, it's not so bad. I can also use that on my Chengpeng. I can use that on my Shizuka. I can use that on many, many different things. And I like that rune a lot, especially in the additional damage meta. I also heard a very weird argument about how unfair this event is because a lot of people will be like me. They will get a quad speed rune that will improve their account by quite a fair bit. And a lot of people will not get the quad speed rune because not everyone is getting the same thing. It is unfair for people. And I think that is just one of the weirdest arguments in this game. This game, by nature, is unfair, okay? What you get to play with, what runes you get on a, every single day, you can farm the same amount of energy and hours. And then this guy who farmed the same amount of hours will not get the runes. It's just luck every single place in this game. So it's so weird to complain about an event that technically everyone can get the 18 speed rune. It is after that, whether you get lucky or not to get more speed on your rune. And every single event, you don't just get the runes. You can also get scroll and even LD scroll for free all the time. And somebody out there will probably summon a Gianna, a Veronica, a Han, a Neftis, a Wunsa. There's so many strong LD Nat 5 nowadays. Somebody out there probably summon an LD Nat 5 with the free scroll from the event. Somebody out there probably get an LD Nat 5 from TOA. It probably happened. Do you call that unfair? I mean, it's true. It's actually unfair. I also did TOA. I didn't get shit this month. My friend did TOA. He got Gianna. And now his rank is like stonk. <laughs> So I heard that argument floating around the community and I was just laughing so hard. It is so weird where you complain about a random fighter 3 gamer get a quad speed rune. It makes no freaking difference to them, to be honest. Like if you don't have a proper team or proper rune set combined together, even with a quad speed rune, you don't make any improvement 
because now maybe your Bernard is a little bit faster. Maybe your Theoma is a bit faster. Maybe somebody's a bit tankier because you now have more speed on the unit on that rune. You can get HP somewhere else. But then it makes no difference. Getting a quad speed rune doesn't just automatically send you to fucking guardianhood, you know? You still have to put that rune to good use. When you have a very fast rune like this, but your other runes are shit, then your Masha will still be shit because you don't have crit rate, you don't have attack, you don't have HP and defense. You will still be not anywhere near you want to be. The event is definitely fine, yeah? I've been at every single rune event and this is the first time I get quad speed as well. <laughs> it's just crazy how people are complaining about random free stuff in this game where this game is never fair to begin with. It is RNG after RNG after RNG after RNG after RNG. You get my point. So yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this, but so that was my rune event and that's the way I'm using my runes and some random thoughts I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.